In the previous example, I was able to separate each line of text by doing separate print statements or by doing separate write statements where each string to be written was then followed by a new line character. There's a couple other ways that we could achieve the same outcome. Instead of assigning the different lines of text into separate strings, we could assign them to a single multi-line string. In an earlier lesson, we learned about the triple single quotes and how they can be used to define a multi-line string. We use them actually as a sort of tricky way to comment out code, but this is the actual purpose for which they were created, which is to allow us to define a string where the parts of the string have embedded new lines. So here I have the first triple single quote, and here I have the last triple single quote. And so I, in between the two triple single quotes, I have some regular text, but I also have a new line character here that goes from the first line to the second line, another new line character here, and a third new line character here. Those new line characters are invisible, of course, because normally we don't see new line characters, but we can tell they are there because of the fact that the string goes on to a new line. And in fact, if I did not have a new line character after the final line, it would look like this. So if I run this code and look to see what is now in my data file, I see that the three lines that I wrote into the data file are there. I could achieve the same effect by not using the triple single quotes to create a multi-line string, but rather to use regular single quotes and to put all the text on the single line. But now in this example, I'm inserting the new line characters in between each of the lines of text. Um, sometimes this is a useful thing to do if you're trying to build up a bunch of lines of text one line at a time. You just concatenate the line of text and then you insert a new line character in between each line and you end up with a string something like what I have here. So if I run this cell, now I see that it did actually change because before I spelled out first, second, and third, but this time I used the abbreviations. After describing the process of building up a multi-line string, I decided that it might be a good idea to just actually give you the code showing how that would be done. So this is actually pretty useful because if you have a list and you want to output it into a file, you would like for each of the items on the list to be on a new line in the file. So here is a list that, is, that consists of the three strings that we've been using above in the previous examples. What we do to, is to begin constructing the multi-line string by creating it as an empty string first. Then we iterate through the list of st strings, setting the value of string to be each one of those three strings in turn. With each of the loops, we add the string that we're iterating through to the existing multi-line string. So remember, this is that shortcut, which means take the multi-line string and add this stuff to it. So we're going to add the multi-line string, and we are also going to add a new line character. So we do that for the first line add a new line character, then we iterate to the second one, add a new line character, iterate to the third one, add a new line character. Then we've completed iterating all the way through the list of sprint strings. So we are finished with this indentation level. We drop back out to the, um, the first indentation level. So we now have constructed exactly this string right here using this loop and this initialization of the string right here. So the last part of the code is the same as what we had before.
Let's go ahead and run this and verify that we get the same results as before. So I've run the cell and here it is, data file.txt. If I open it up, I can see that I get exactly the same result that I had in the previous example because I created exactly the same string as what I had in this example and also in this example here.